Do you know what the amygdala is? Um, I'm assuming it's something to do with your brain. Okay. Do you know what it does for you? Slash its importance? Um, maybe something how you think. Okay, perfect. The amygdala is one of two almond-shaped grooves of the nuclei located deep and medially within the temporal loose of the brain in complex vertebrates inside each cerebral hemisphere. It is part of the limbic system at the end of the hippocampus, behind your ears on both sides of your head. Scientists say that if you stab a needle straight through your eye and ears, the amygdala would be where the two needles intersect. The limbic system is responsible for emotions, survival instincts, and memory. The amygdala is responsible for the perception of emotions such as fear, sadness, and anger. It also controls your aggression and it is responsible of controlling those emotions and helps store your perception of how other events happen and helps your reaction to those events. The amygdala is important because without the amygdala we would be completely fearless. We need fear for survival and so without fear we won't be able to detect danger or stay away from danger. For example, if a tiger wants to attack an animal and eat it, an animal with its amygdala working properly would instantly run away because their fight or flight emotion has kicked in and they are scared of the tiger. But an animal without this doesn't react to the tiger coming at it, so it will die and none of the animals would survive if they didn't have the amygdala. There are two parts to the amygdala, the right side and the left side. They are both used different, they have different functions, but together they help interpret and identify emotions and memories. The right side of your amygdala has to do with the negative emotions like fear or sadness, whereas the left side of your amygdala has to do with more pleasant emotions like happiness. Because of this, it is your brain's reward system because it has to do with the more positive emotions. Another thing the amygdala is known for is taking over your fight or your flight mode. This makes it difficult for you to make decisions because once the amygdala takes over, emotions basically cloud your judgment. You can't make any decisions. When that happens, adrenaline is released into your body and it can stay in your body for up to 18 minutes. The amygdala hijack is characterized by three signs. First is a strong emotional reaction. Second is an offset to that reaction. And third is regret after the reaction has taken place. This happens because your mind is being clouded by emotion and so you cannot think cognitively about whatever decisions you're making. Three ways to um, help offset that reaction and that um, a, a amygdala hijack is first, you identify the problem. Second, what caused the reaction to that problem? And third is why did you react the way you reacted to that problem? Like what was the cause of your reaction to that? Some things you can do to help your amygdala when you're feeling anxious is breathing. You breathe in for four seconds, hold it, and then breathe out for another four seconds and repeat. You can also try relaxing your mind and your body and thinking positively. Studies have shown that the amygdala plays a role in politics. The size of the amygdala correlates with the cognitive styles regarding to political thinking. For example, liberalism is associated with increased gray matter volume in the anterior cingulate cortex, and conservatism was associated with increased volume of the right amygdala. Theoretically, you can live with only one of the two amygdalas through surgery, but you wouldn't want to do that if you can prevent it. This is because in another study, the scientists removed the amygdala in rats, monkeys, and rabbits. The animals lived normal lives afterwards, except for one notable new development. They don't feel fear. You won't know the difference between when to fight and when to run if you don't have fear.